Let me bring in uh, Rabbi uh, Mark Schneier from uh, New York. Uh, good evening, uh, Rabbi Schneier. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, you are familiar with what's happening in the region here. Uh, give me your take on, on this visit so far. Well, I've been involved in this process now for more than 13 years. Uh, my unique connectivity with the heads of states, uh, not only in Israel, but throughout the Gulf, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain, uh, Qatar, Kuwait, and Oman. I think this is one more step along the journey to a full uh, peace, engagement, and reconciliation between Israel uh, and the Gulf countries. In my conversations with Saudi leadership, uh, be the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman or his brother Prince Khalid, the Foreign Minister Prince Faisal and the Minister of State Abdul al, al Jaber. One thing they've made very clear to me that yes, cooperation with Israel in terms of Iran is a very important issue, but more important to them is the potential of economic cooperation and empowerment with the state of Israel. Um, the Crown Prince MBS, his magnificent obsession, his preoccupation is on what he calls Vision 2030, the transformation, the economic transformation of the kingdom. And I have been told unequivocally that that will not succeed without the cooperation and the participation of the state of Israel. Yeah, we uh, have seen in Israel uh, really um, anticipation for something uh, that would be, uh, you know, more dramatic in relations with uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, but, you know, uh, people, including uh, Saudis, are telling us, you know, it's going to take a long, long time, easy. How long, I want to ask you? Well, we have to take baby steps. The Palestinian issue and the lack of engagement between Israel and the Palestinians is still a very um, critical uh, benchmark for the Saudis uh, to overcome. But a baby step could be, uh, for example, you know, the discussion now about allowing El Al and Israel carriers to fly over Saudi airspace. Um, I was involved in that three years ago, uh, before COVID, when the owner of El Al, Tammy Moses, and the CEO of El Al, Gonan Usishkin, spoke with me about speaking with the Saudi leadership and proposed the following. They were given uh, the airspace over the kingdom. They would fly complimentary Israeli Arabs uh, to the Hajj, uh, to Mecca. Um, and I actually presented that to the foreign minister. And then, regrettably, you know, COVID uh, arrived and everything was put on hold. But needless to say, I'm so thrilled to hear that that's one of the issues that is now on the table for discussion. And I would not be surprised if we do realize this benchmark on the journey to full Saudi Israel normalization. Right. Uh, please stay with us. I'm going to have to take a short break uh, and we'll, we'll speak about the Palestinian issue and other issues uh, in just uh, a minute. We'll take a break and uh, we'll be right back. We'll be at the Maccabiah Games and uh, keep uh, our uh, coverage of Biden's visit to the Middle East in a moment. 